hello guys in this video tutorial we will see how to add fragments to the app where we will use song list let's get started empty activity my audio player finish gradle syncing Sync successfully. Now I am going to delete this, changing to relative uh, linear layout, and orientation is vertical. Let's zoom in. Changing the theme to no action bar. Now let's search tab layout. Now we have to download this dependency in mod Gradle module app. Press OK. Syncing, sync finish. Now drag and drop. To the main activity layout file now let's go to the code of layout file delete these tab items and just removing the line by forward slash to reduce the code layout height is wrap content and there should be background color primary dark now let's change this color going to the values and then colors dot xml color primary and color primary dark and then color accent to white it will look cool let's give an id to the tab layout id equals tab layout and uh, tab indicator full width which is default by true but we are setting it tab indicator gravity to center which will center the tab indicator to vertical and tab text color which is color accent means white add view pager to the layout layout width is match parent and height is match parent to give an id to this error at rate plus id view pager rest of the code to the tab layout we will do it later let's go to the main activity init view pager is a method which will call after set content view created this method Initializing the view pager by find view id r dot id dot view pager that we have already defined in view pager and tab layout tab layout equals tab layout find view by id r dot id dot tab layout and let's create view pager adapter public static class view pager adapter extends this will extend fragment pager adapter it will implement alt enter it will implement two methods and also a constructor error resolved 
creating the array list of fragments array list fragments and an array list of string to the title the fragment array list will possess all the fragments that we will create later let's initialize these variables this dot fragments equals new array list and this dot title equals new array list it this function will return fragment at index position fragments dot get position and the below fragment the below third width will return the size of the fragments now creating the add fragments method that will add each fragment and title to the view pager fragments dot add are list fragments fragments dot add new fragment the fragment stands that we will implement later above titles dot add titles now initializing view pager adapter view pager adapter equals new view pager adapter get support fragment manager now we should create fragments view pager adapter dot add fragments oh, fragments let's create fragment go to the java folder and in java folder there is package new fragment empty fragment name it what you want songs fragment and uncheck this include fragment factory method get all syncing get all sync finished create another fragment and the name is album fragment uncheck this fragments created now create a view object view view equals and cut the below code and paste above return view this view object will be used to find the ids of layout in the fragment the same thing here view view equals paste fragment album going to main activity and now we will call add fragments method new songs fragment and the title that we will see in tab layout same for album fragment albums now add this view pager adapter to the view pager of layout file view pager adapter equals set adapter view pager adapter that we have created above and now tab layout dot setup view pager this will set up the tab layout and view pager interaction view pager let's run the app and see is it working correctly oops there is there is no any title let's see what happens view pager oh, there we have forgot one overridden method get page title mm. No. No. Get this title, and we will return title start get position 
this will return the title at position index position let's run and see how, how it works now title is showing but the width of the means sorry the height of the tab layout indicator is default so add tab layout height property to 40 dp and tab indicator color now let's run the app and see how, how it looks now looking good let's create gradient effect in the tab indicator go to drawable resource directory and create new drawable resource file change selector to shape and give it file name tab indicator now go to the code editor gradient center color center color whatever you put it won't so to the tab indicator we will implement this in the layout file angle 0 now background drawable and file name that we have run the app not working let's see where is the problem this is the problem tab indicator and put here background drawable now it is looking good that's it for the tutorial please like subscribe to the channel for the latest updates thank you for watching